All of this video is me in editing because my mic was muted this whole entire time, which I'm not really sure how that happened, but it happened. So I ended up selling my Tech Geoth, trying to buy a Pry Nuver at minimum price, checking to see what the price of Vel's hearts are, see how close I am to affording them. I ended up getting the Pry Nuver, and uh, here's just me, you know, trying to get Try. That didn't work, as you've seen. So I turned in all my trading crates and I was just short of master 10. I was at like master nine, 99%, not even kidding. Trading in fish in a hundred crates was able to get me master 10 trading, which is really nice. Cause now I feel like I can make a bunch of money trading if it's something I really can stick towards. Spend another 60 bucks in the game. Probably won't spend another cent on this game because the black star is just going to stay in my lawn because I feel like with the lawn, I know what I'm doing when it comes to grinding and playing other classes probably won't be as efficient right at the start. So if I just go to like Miramook right away, I can, you know, par party grind this and make some money and some levels. So that's my plan. I plan on making money with my lawn for grinding. Probably not Miramook. I'll probably go to Achman or, uh, Manchums when you know I don't feel like doing Ackman. I think the reason I've just been so bored or I don't know what to do into BDO is because I haven't really had a goal and I thought that switching characters would work and help and that didn't solve anything so I'm definitely going back to Elan so I created four goals to keep me going into this game because if I don't have a goal, I'm just genuinely lost and I have no idea what to do. So for my first goal is to reach 269 AP. To reach that, I need to get a Vel's Heart and about 250 Kafras in my dandy to reach 269 AP. And for my second goal is to get back my Tet Dimtri and Tet Giath helmet. I'm still going to go with Giath because I want that extra HP for the node wars I'm doing. This goal will probably be the longest goal that I have just because it's I have to make about 4 billion silver and if I'm not actively playing I'm not making a bunch. So I'm, I'm really going to try to start grinding a few hours every single day, keep on top of my farms to make money. Getting level 3 Kafras in all of my armor is definitely my third goal, but I have a sub goal that's kind of in between my second and third one, and that's to buy all Pry, Kazarka, Dandy, and Nuver for another class that I actually plan to do Node Wars with. Um, the reason why is because I want to be useful. The guild I'm in currently has a ton of skirmishing classes and not very many AoE classes. I'm definitely not going to be playing a witch or a wizard, so I feel like my AoE classes are kind of limited, but I'll let you, you know, guess in the comments of what you think I'm gonna be. I definitely already know, but the reason I want to buy Pry is so I can build fail stacks, you know, work up to getting Tet fail stacks so I can get Tet accessories in the future. I just got on in the morning, sold my fish, check in the marketplace, see what's going on. And I noticed that uh, I have a buy. I was like, sweet, I must have got my, oh my gosh, I got a Vel's heart. Eight million, eight billion silver. I, uh, that was pretty much my live reaction of it. I was just super surprised. I didn't actually expect to get it. It's been in there for five days. But I finally got it. And now all I need is to get about 250 more Kafras into my dandy to reach Kafra level three. Now I have 269 AP. My first goal might be completed in the very first episode of this. I'm kind of excited. I also have to get my Nuver back to debt.
now that I've sold my fish, it's time for me to have just enough money to be able to purchase a Tech Geoff helmet, which is kind of surprised that the price wasn't maxed out with everybody fishing. I figured all the prices would just be inflated, but no, one was listed at minimum, so I was happy about that. My original goal was 269 AP, but thanks to Bartelli Adventure, I was able to get three more AP out of that. So I'm at 271. So I easily passed 269, which is you now super excited about. I've been buying and gathering Cafras for a while now. I'm about to get one more AP level. Boom. Cafra level three on my dandy. I don't even know how, that probably costs me around like a billion silver with how much I've gathered. Boom, 272 AP. That's what I'm talking about. Now that I hit 272 AP, my goal is to get my dim tree armor. And I think I'm just gonna straight up focus on that dim tree armor. But one thing I didn't think about as I was making my goals, I don't have any crystals in my gear. Like I have gins, that's about it. I, I'll have to buy hooms for my helmet, hooms for my boots, uh, the 150 HP, like the Valtara crystals for my offhand. I'll probably have to get Bon or I think it's Juan. Cobalinus for the extra 100, 100 or 150 HP there so I can get up to like 3,500 HP ish around there once I start getting HP and more of my accessories because I'm definitely going for an HP build because we're doing node wars we're doing T1 node wars and DP and AP is capped so if I have more HP that's more survivability. I've decided to sell my Tribassi belt. It's sold. Got a value pack going, okay. I've decided that I'm gonna sell that, keep my Duo Vartala belt, Volterra belt. I'll still be 269 AP. I won't be 272, but that doesn't matter because the AP bracket's at 273. So I'll be 269 AP. I gained a million silver closer to the Dim Tree armor that I need to buy. And quite frankly, I feel like getting tri accessories at this point is relatively easy. I think, I think, and I feel like Ted is the real struggle these days. So I'm not too concerned about, you know, having a duo Voltara belt. Cause it also give me hundred HP for node wars.